Welcome to North American Shale Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jill Nelson. We'd like to invite you to submit a speaker abstract for the Bakken Conference and Expo taking place July 16th through the 17th in Bismarck, North Dakota. The deadline to submit is March 22nd. Visit thebakkenconference.com to learn more. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Secretary of Energy Rick Perry recently addressed the global oil and gas market and how American producers can play a role. CNBC interviewed both during Sarah Week, an industry event that draws producers from all over the world to Houston. CNBC provided our team with transcripts from the interviews. We reformatted the talks into easy-to-read question-and-answer pieces. A Bakken trucking and transportation firm has new data showing how to reduce driver turnover. Brady Trucking worked with Stay Metrics to study retention practices that can be used to keep drivers on staff. Chuck Johnson, CEO of Brady Trucking, said retention is the key to growing in the Bakken. Check out the data and survey results in our online coverage. Northern Oil and Gas is a non-op player in the Bakken that can control its own destiny. The Minneapolis-based team outlined its 2019 plans and goals for the future in a recent investor call. The executives explained Northern's ability to pick and choose which wells to participate in. The group also detailed their expansive footprint and knowledge base that spans the entire Williston Basin. The full story is online now. Montage Resources Corp. recently spoke out about its 2018 shale gas production results from the Marcellus and Utica. The combined company of two previous shale gas developers said it had a positive year. The team also outlined a new set of guidelines many of its peers in the shale space now have to understand and use. New investor sediment has changed. Find out more about the new financial expectations Montage spoke on in this week's newsletter. As always, find out more at NorthAmericanShaleMagazine.com. See you next time.